You can use Kraken to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrencies. Kraken is one of the lowest cost options. There are some very good services for beginners and professional traders alike. In this video, I'm gonna go through the sign up and set up process of Kraken, all the security procedures, then some more advanced ways of trading cryptocurrencies on Kraken and pretty much everything you need to know as a beginner when it comes to using Kraken to trade cryptocurrencies. I will also put the link to sign up to Kraken in the description box below so you know you're going to the right place to sign up for a Kraken account and we'll get into the tutorial and I'll show you how everything works. If you do click that link in the description, you'll come through to this page and you can have a look around at all the features that Kraken gives you, but we're just gonna get started. So you can come up to the top right hand side and click create account, or just click this one, get started, and it's exactly the same. Put in an email, a username, and a password as well. Make sure that your country of residence is there. Accept the conditions and then prove that you're not a robot. Go through everything like that. Once you have gone through all of that, Kraken will then send you an email with a special code and you can see what it looks like here. So check your email for that code, copy and paste it right in here, and then you will go straight into the Kraken dashboard. This will be the first page that you see when you sign in. And at the top, you can see that there is a mobile app as well. If you do wanna see a tutorial about the app specifically, go and check the channel, it will be on there. You can see how to use the mobile app. I'm just gonna get rid of this. Now, the second thing that you'll have to do is verify your account. You can see before you do anything, you do have to verify. So there are a couple of different levels with Kraken. Now I've already done this. There may even be a bar up here telling you to verify your account. So you can do that, but this should be here as well. So just click on verify your account and then you'll come through to this page. Starter is the easiest one and you don't need any ID documents. If you have other cryptocurrencies in different accounts that you wanna transfer into Kraken to trade, you can do that without ID. If you want to put fiat currencies on account, so that's US dollars or pound sterling or euros or whatever through a bank transfer, then you do have to sign up and provide your ID. So a driving license or a passport. Go through that process yourself. It takes a few minutes. And then once that's done, we'll get into the tutorial. Back now on the main page that Kraken brings you to when you do sign up for an account, which is the buy crypto page. Firstly though, I do wanna go through to some security measures. So come up here to the settings, come to your security and just come to overview. This is where you can sort out all of your security settings. You can also see active sessions that are happening on your devices and you also can connect devices as well. So all of your whitelisted devices will be here and if you get rid of any devices, you can remove those and then make sure that essentially no devices that aren't yours are using your account. Next, we need to go to two-factor authentication settings. You can turn 2FA on for trading, so nothing will happen unless you authenticate your usage. Same with funding as well. You can actually use Google Authenticator with this one, just like a lot of other competitors as well. So this is pretty standard. You can download that app from the iOS or Google Play stores, use it with your account, and it just puts that extra factor of security in there. Another thing that we can go through before actually telling you how it works is the fees. So we can come down here and click on fees. Now, Kraken actually has quite competitive fees overall. We can come down, we can see that instant buyers actually have no fee whatsoever. So essentially Kraken take a spread from the exchange rate that they give you. This is exactly the same way as a bank would do it. So essentially the price that Kraken take from the market they essentially give you a slightly worse price than that. From what I hear, I think the spread is about a half a percent, maybe a little bit above that. It's fairly competitive overall, so I wouldn't really worry about this. If you do want to pay via a credit card, you can see 3.75% plus 25 cents. Compared to the competition like Binance and Coinbase, I think it's a little bit more expensive than Binance and around the same price as Coinbase. I would never recommend you use credit cards to pay for cryptocurrency. It is just way more expensive than depositing some cash on account and using this way. So let's just come back to the easiest way to actually go and buy some Bitcoin. That is the buy crypto option right here. So let's come to buy. And very simply, you can just put in the amount of fiat currency that you want to use to buy either Bitcoin or other crypto. So you can very easily come here, just type in 100 pounds. Now you do need cash on account of course and you go through to verify your account just like I showed you at the beginning you can come down here and choose the cryptocurrency that you want to buy so either BTC or you can uh, choose a few others so if I just type in ETH which is Ethereum you can just choose Ethereum and then just choose the amount of your fiat currency that you want to trade 
It's exactly the same for selling as well. So if you want to sell one cryptocurrency for some fiat currency, you can do that. So how much do you want to sell? You can go and just choose the amount in pound sterling or US dollars that you want. So let's say you have an amount of Bitcoin on account. You can come in here and say, I want to sell 100 US dollars worth of Bitcoin and that will do it for you. Or you can change it right here to the Bitcoin. So you can say, actually, I want to sell 0.005 of a Bitcoin and then that will exchange it into your currency. Converting is much the same. So this way you actually convert one cryptocurrency to another cryptocurrency. So you can choose the cryptocurrency that you want to exchange from and then choose the cryptocurrency that you want to buy. So in this instance, Kraken is essentially just uh, acting like an exchange broker, just like you'd go to a bank and say you need whatever currency it is. You give them your currency and they will give you an exchange rate. You can say I want this uh, much Bitcoin that I want to exchange and I want to buy Ethereum. Right down here, it is going to give you the amounts of each that you are selling and buying. This is without a doubt the easiest way to do a currency exchange on Kraken, but there are some downsides. The biggest one is that you have absolutely no control whatsoever over the exchange rate that you're getting. And well, it is invariably worse than the actual exchange rate that is going on in the market because Kraken are for this easy use just taking a little bit of a turn and a little bit of profit from that. How do we get cryptocurrencies and fiat currencies actually on the account then once we're verified? Well, we can actually come to the uh, homepage so we can click on the Kraken logo right here. And this is essentially all of your balances. So whatever you hold in your Kraken trading account, it will be detailed right here. It will give you the currency that you have in terms of your base currency. For some reason, I'm in the UK, it's using euros, which is super irritating. You can actually come up here to market and then change this like this, so if you do want to trade something, you can come and trade X XBT, which is actually what Kraken call uh, Bitcoin, and then US dollar like this, and it will change right here, so now everything's valued in US dollars. So whatever your currency is, just come up here, you can change that currency, and it will tell you what all of your cryptocurrencies are valued in your fiat currency. All of your other holdings on account will be detailed here as well. So any trade balances that you have, obviously the amount of value of all your cryptocurrencies and fiat currencies and everything like this, and any trades and exchanges that you have made will be detailed right here in the ledger. To actually deposit, withdraw and transfer uh, cryptocurrencies and fiat currencies from your trading account with Kraken to other accounts, we can come up here to funding overall. This is again just going to give us an overview of all the balances on our account. You can press this button to put them in the order in which they are largest or smallest. And if you want to show all of the assets, just press this one and then all of the different assets will be listed here. Take it off just to show the main assets that you have. The way that you deposit is simply by going to the asset that you want to do something with. So I'll choose pound sterling here, coming to deposit. Now it's gonna tell me that I need to verify my account because I'm only on the starter level. If you have verified your account to intermediate, the option to deposit will be right here. So all you have to do is just a very simple bank transfer. So you will be given the account details of the account you have with Kraken. It's exactly the same for withdrawing as well. So just click on this. As I'm not on the intermediate level, it does prompt me to get verified once more. But all you have to do is put your bank details in, any currency that you have on account that will go into your bank account via a bank transfer. The way that you send cryptocurrencies from your trading account to other trading accounts, or more importantly, to maybe a software wallet that you have or a hardware wallet, we can come back by pressing this icon back to funding. And then you can just choose the crypto asset that you have on account. Then you can come to either deposit or, or withdraw. Let's just choose deposit first. You have to acknowledge the fact that Kraken is not responsible for any coins that get sent to the wrong address. Now, I'm just gonna click acknowledge. When you do send cryptocurrencies, it is absolutely vital that you have the correct address because if you send cryptocurrencies to the wrong address, well, they're just never gonna send it back. That is completely gone. So you have to be very sure that you're sending it to the right address. You can actually generate a new address. So let's say you've got an account with Binance or Coinbase and you wanna send some Bitcoin over here for trading. You can just press this plus button and generate a new address. Now I have this deposit address right here. This is the address that you will copy and paste into your account 
On the other account, of course, just go through to send or transfer Bitcoin, and then it will ask you for a deposit address. That is this address right here that you can copy and paste in there. You can see you can get a QR code as well, which is super easy. So if you have a mobile wallet, you can just go and scan the QR code, and then it's just going to go through with the transaction. If you need to withdraw Bitcoins or other cryptocurrencies from your Kraken account, we'll just come over to withdraw right here. And it's just the absolute reverse way. So you can come down and add an address, put the amount of the currency that you want in there. And the address obviously is the cryptocurrency receive address of the other platform or wallet. So that is really the basic way of adding funds and withdrawing funds, both for fiat currencies and cryptocurrencies. And then this buy crypto option is without a doubt the simplest way for most people, but it is slightly more expensive. And as you become a little bit more advanced with your trading, you might want more control over how you actually trade and the prices that you trade at. Well, Kraken has a really good intermediate type of trading interface, which we'll get onto now. We can then come to this option, which is trade. So let's just click this. And this option allows you actually three different ways. You can see a simple, an intermediate, and an advanced. Now, the biggest difference between the trade screen and the buy crypto screen is that you have more options over the prices that you pay. Whereas the buy crypto button is just Kraken acting as an exchange, this one right here is them acting as a broker. So I can put in the amount that I want to buy or sell. So let's say I want to go for the simple right here. So buy and how much Bitcoin do I want to buy? I want to buy that many Bitcoin. You can see it's valued in dollars. Now you can change this. If you have other fiat currencies on an account that aren't US dollars, you can come up here, make sure to change that to whatever currency that you want. Now the trade that I'm entering to Kraken is uh, 0 0.005 Bitcoin. And you can see that they valued that in US dollars for me. And here's the difference, market or limit order. A market order, when I press this, you'll see that this price actually disappears. Why does it disappear? A market order is telling the broker that you have absolutely no interest in the price that you're paying for an asset. The only thing that you can change is the amount of that asset that you're buying. So you can choose how many Bitcoin you want to buy, but you have no price sensitivity. You don't care what price you're paying. You can go ahead and buy Bitcoin with US dollars like this. And the price is just going to be whatever price that Kraken can get at the time of trading, whatever the price is in the market. When you switch to a limit order like this, the price does come back. And the reason it comes back is because you now can tell Kraken, I actually only want to pay a certain price for this transaction. So if I was gonna put $1 in here, and this is obviously crazy because this much Bitcoin is obviously way more expensive than $1, but I can actually input this order. I can say to Kraken, hey, I wanna buy some Bitcoin and I only want to pay $1 for this amount of Bitcoin. And you can just put that into the system. Kraken will receive that order and essentially have it on their order book and if the price ever does get down there, then you will buy some. The main thing to take away here is that if the price in the market doesn't get down to your level, your order will not be executed and you will not buy any Bitcoin. The only time you buy Bitcoin is if the price in the market matches your limit order and you can match with a the seller, then Kraken will trade for you. Let's go through to the intermediate stage then. So we have the order, either a buy or sell. Here you can choose the currency pair that you want to trade. I'm happy with X XBT, which is Bitcoin. Here is leverage. I would just not use this. This is when you borrow money from Kraken to actually trade larger than you would otherwise trade. I would definitely not use this. The amount of Bitcoin that you want to buy. So I'm just going to put 0.005 right here. You can see that they've already valued this at $38,158 per Bitcoin. That is the current market price right now. So you would have this price times 0 0.005 to buy that many Bitcoin. You can change it to a market or a limit order. Now we can see expires. You can actually put a time scale on your order. So you can say, I wanna buy 0 0.005 Bitcoin and I'm happy to pay $38,000, so oh, oh, oh. This is a little bit below the current market price. And I'm happy to put this order in either good until canceled. That means it will stay in the system forever until you go and cancel it. Good for only one day. This order is good for a week or a month, or you can just choose a custom time frame to put that order in. You can also see the estimate that Kraken thinks it will actually take overall. So 0 0.005 Bitcoin at this many US dollars per Bitcoin in total would be this dollar amount for the entire trade. 
and you can choose how you pay the fees. Kraken obviously have a fee on top of this order. You can either pay in Bitcoin or US dollars. So you can choose either of those. And then you can just go through and put that order into the system. That order then will come down here. Any live orders that you have will be detailed right here for you. Any orders that are working, haven't been executed yet, will be right here. Any orders that have been executed and have gone through will be in the positions tab right here. So you can see all of your holdings. If you come through to advance once more, you can put some extra features onto your trade. So maybe you want a stop loss. You can put a stop loss on your trade to say, I really don't wanna lose that much money. So maybe I will choose actually this percent right here and I will just put 10%. So if I buy in at $38,000, and the price of Bitcoin goes against me and falls. After a 10% loss in my position, Kraken will go and sell my position out and stop any further losses for me. Something else really important and even more professional is Kraken Pro and actually the charting features as well. So if we come up here, you can get some uh, good look at the chart and the market for Bitcoin or other cryptos. So you can come to Kraken Terminal. So I'm just gonna open this for now. Now this is a professional trading screen and when I was trading on the London Stock Exchange, this is what I'd stare at all day. Not for cryptocurrencies, but it is exactly the same thing. Here you can see the actual market for Bitcoin right now on Kraken. So these are sellers on the order book right here and these are buyers on the order book right here. You can now see the prices that people are trading and also the volume that people are trading. So this is really important. If you are getting more into trading cryptocurrencies or even if you're not, you can just see the price movements of Bitcoin on the day. So you can see right now, actually Bitcoin is just trading down and we can change this to, let's change it to a 15 hour chart. You can see that we'll change it to a four or six month chart right here. So you can see the price moves. What you can see right now is that this is the price move of Bitcoin and the chart. So you can just get an overview of how Bitcoin is moving in relation to the US dollar. You can see Bitcoin against the US dollar. You can click right here and choose any of these cryptocurrency markets. This is Ethereum against the Aussie dollar. This is Ethereum against Bitcoin. It's actually favorited for you. So you can click on this one. This is now the market in Ethereum versus Bitcoin. Now, I'm not gonna get too much into trading on a pro service like this. I do have more in-depth professional tutorials if you want to see those on the channel. But just to say that if you are buying Bitcoin like this, then you do need to really see what the actual market is and the price you should expect to pay. So we can come back here and I'm just going to come back to Bitcoin against the dollar. We can very easily see that here. It's actually favorited for us already. So Bitcoin against the US dollar. We can see that the actual market on Kraken right now is 37,800 USD per one Bitcoin. So you can use this price and really just say to yourself, okay, if I wanna put this simple order in, I can know roughly what the price should be on here. You can also use Kraken Pro though in exactly the same way as we use this. So just like we had a buy and the amount of volume right here, you can come to the Kraken Pro trading screen, come to the action, click on buy, click on limit order, just like we've been through already. You can choose that you don't want to use any leverage. You can then choose how many Bitcoin that you want to buy. For example, one Bitcoin, you can choose the price. So 37,000, let's say. You can see now that one Bitcoin at 37,000, the total order value would of course be 37,000. If I change it to two, that would just double up. So easy to understand. Once those orders are in the market and working, you will see them down here. Any orders that are working will be in here and any positions that you have will be on here, which is obviously super useful. If you have positions in Bitcoin and you wanna sell bits and bobs, you can see how many you have. You can obviously come up here, change this to sell, put everything in. And if you do have orders, you will see them highlighted on the order book because this is right now a live exchange in the cryptocurrency. And the last thing we need to talk about is staking which is essentially like earning interest. So you can come right up here. Uh, Kraken does support staking in a few cryptocurrencies. The best way to really explain staking is like having your money in a bank account and you would expect the bank account to give you some interest on that money that you hold with them. Staking is essentially the same thing. If you do have any cryptocurrency holdings, you can go through step by step here. So you can select an asset to stake and then you have to put it on account for a certain amount of time and then you will earn an interest. So they do offer Ethereum staking. So if you have any Ethereum, you can go ahead and stake that, press that. They do offer some other cryptocurrencies to stake as well. If you do want to learn the ins and outs of staking, then do check out the channel and see the staking video for that. 
I will leave the link to Kraken in the description box below so you know you're going through to the right place to sign up for an account. Hope it was helpful. If it was, please subscribe for way more crypto content and I'll see you in the next one.